Hi viewers, welcome to my channel DevOps by Mumu. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how to install Jenkins on Amazon EC2 instance. Please watch, like, subscribe and comment your valuable feedback and if you found any mistakes, please update me in comments so that I can rectify in my upcoming videos. I previously done video on how to install Jenkins on Windows machine. I'm just pasting that link in video description. Please go there and like and watch that video. Without delay, let's get started. Hi guys. In this video, I would like to explain how can we install Jenkins EC2 instance. So for installing the EC2 instance first we have to create one EC2 instance and we can follow the basic steps and we have to open port 8080 in security groups after that we have to install JDK so now I'll let you know how can we how can we install so I'll just going the basic steps launch instance so here it is uh, defaultly selected as Amazon Linux so I'm, uh, I'm okay to go and here also I'm not changing anything. I'm using uh, instance type as T2 micro and storage is also leave it as default. Everything I can choose the default settings only. But in a security groups, I have to enable port 8080 because in for Jenkins, we have the default port number is 8080. So now launch. Here we have two options. We have to choose an existing key pair or else if you want to create a new pair, you can create new pair and you can download. But I already have a key pair. So I'm choosing with my existing key pair and launching the instance. So now the instance is getting launching. Now go and let's check. View the instance. So here it is. And I name it as Jenkins for my remembrance. Here Jenkins is uh, while Jenkins is installing. See here it is a public IP uh, public IP address. So we have to copy this host address. So uh, and open Mobex term and connect with the SSH. Here you have to paste the host address and the default EC2 um, default username is EC2 user and click on advanced SSH setting. So now which the private key you have downloaded. You can select that key. Here I have chosen this key pair. One second. Click on OK. OK. So now what's the steps we have followed so uh, here we don't need to any follow we just in a open we have to open the Jenkins IO.C this is the official website here we have so we just copy paste the whatever the we have the commands so first we have to create one repository for creating repository this is the command we have to take in okay I just copy in the command okay paste here with that repository is created and also in copying this copying this okay so now we have to install jdk so for installing jdk we have the command m install sudo amazon x sudo amazon Linux install here we have sudo amazon linux extra install java open it but first if we install this um, wait amazon linux extra install apple if you choose this one so with this command we can see what are the java versions available in amazon so let me try here install apple release See here, Java Open JDK 11 is available. So it is available, right? So now we have to install that Java version. Sudo m install open Java JDK 11. I'm just copy paste that command. 
now it is installing now this jdk is getting to be installing after this jar jdk got installed in your machine then you can use m install jenkins command to install the jenkins let me finish first this okay now you can see here java open jdk 11 latest version is enabled it means jdk is got installed now enter the command m install jenkins this is the command to install the sudo m install jenkins why we are using sudo means to run let's see first here permission got denied so because we have to be at root to perform this action or else uh, before if you sudo also it got installed sudo m install jenkins now it is loading all the plugins to install the Jenkins. Uh, so now it got installed successfully. So after install, if you want to check the status, you can use this command to check the status. sudo m install Jenkins we have done. After that, um, we have to, if you want to see the status, you can use the command sudo service Jenkins status. I'm just copy pasting that same command. Here it shows as inactive. That means Jenkins is not started yet. So first we have to start the Jenkins service. So to, to start the Jenkins service, we can use the command sudo service Jenkins start. See now starting jenkins via system app. that means jenkins service is starting so meanwhile you can copy this uh, ip address colon 8080 which is the port which we have enabled in security groups for jenkins so after after giving all the commands if you are able to see this page means you have successfully installed the jenkins portal now let's wait for so after it it got installed so first it will ask for the administrator password we have to give this administrator password here uh, where can here they have given some part where we can find the administrator password this is the part they have suggested so i'm just doing I'm just using the cat command to find the administrator password and this is the path they have suggested so by entering this I got this password so I had to copy this I had to copy and I'm pasting here see after this we got this page here we have two options select plugins to install install suggested plugin now i'm going with the install suggest plugins only i'm going with the install suggested plugins okay after clicking on this we'll get to install this folders see one by one is getting installed fastly if your internet and bandwidth is too fast, it can install very fastly. And if your internet bandwidth is very low, it will take some time. Uh, let's wait for install all the plugins. After it get uh, install the plugins, it will ask the username. I I just give my name as username and password. We can set as your wish. And confirm password and full name as your choice email address also you can mention yours
okay save and continue and this is the url the same url we have save and finish now see jenkins is ready your setup is complete start using jenkins so now you can see the jenkins dashboard if you are able to see the jenkins dashboard you have completed the all the setup plugins installation all are successful and this is about jenkins installation and uh, in uh, my git repository i have included the all the setup commands and everything here if you want you can refer this um, refer this github page to make you to easily and i also share this link in the description you can search me by thank you